Today's episode is all about the ever-changing panorama of adventure, murder, mystery, and romance on the silver screen. Today's episode is all about the movies, or more importantly, how Hollywood came to Duluth and filmed the motion picture Iron Will, starring Mackenzie Astin, Kevin Spacey in one of his first big roles, David Ogden Stiers. You remember him from Winchester on MASH, but they were just actors. This was the real star. The movie Iron Will is based on a true story of a 1917 dog sled race. Mackenzie Aston plays the role of a young boy who takes his father's place after his father passes away in a sled dog accident and enters the race as a long shot. Kevin Spacey, in his first acting role of a major proportion, is the reporter who captures the story and makes the young boy a phenom across the country as Iron Will. And David Eiden Stiers plays the part of the sponsor of the race, a real life race sponsored by Louis William Hill and the Great Northern Railway. But as I said, the big star was number 14, Duluth in Northern Minnesota's 1913 built. It served originally for the Duluth and Northern Minnesota Railway, which operated out of Knife River. It was part of the Alger Smith Lumber Company, and it mainly was a log hauler, but it was also a common carrier, and this engine pulled both freight and passenger trains back in the day. After the uh, logging was done, the company got rid of the engine, sold it to the LS&I Railway in Michigan's Upper Peninsula, and there it hauled iron ore for many years. When they were done with it, it got a job at a limestone quarry where all they really used was its boiler. In the 1970s, the engine came back to its roots here in Duluth and sat around for a while. But in 1988, they decided to rebuild it. And four years later, in 1992, they had a working steam locomotive. In 1993, for the filming of Iron Will, they had a movie star. If the number 14 steam locomotive was the star of the movie, well then this was the leading lady, the car Northland. It played the role of the private car of the race's sponsor, J.W. Hopper, who owned the railroad that sponsored the race. In reality, of course, he was just playing Louis W. Hill, who was the great northern entrepreneur and owner who, of course, actually did sponsor the race as part of the 1917 St. Paul Winter Carnival. 522 miles, the race ran from Winnipeg down to St. Paul, along the tracks of the Great Northern Railway. There's another connection, Mackenzie Aston, who played young Will Stoneman, who of course is the hero of the movie. Mackenzie Aston's mother was Patty Duke. She was in Duluth for a movie also. It was filmed at Glen Sheen, it was called You'll Like My Mother. So it was kind of like a family reunion to have Mackenzie Aston, her son, star in Iron Will, also shot here in Duluth. Besides all the equipment that the North Shore Scenic Railroad contributed, along with many of our volunteers to run these trains, other spots around the Twin Ports, Northern Minnesota, and even Wisconsin took starring roles in the movie. For instance, the old Central High School in downtown Duluth, that was Winnipeg, the start of the race. The finish of the race in Como Park in downtown St. Paul, well, that was actually portrayed by the train station in Two Harbors, Minnesota. And along the way, they shot in Brookston, up in the Steelton Yards here in Duluth, and even in Cloquet. What's very interesting is that one of the most dramatic scenes in the entire motion picture, one of the heart-stopping, thrilling segments, is where the young Will Stoneman's sled and dogs are trapped, stuck on the rails on top of the Sucker River Bridge, a bridge we still use today on the North Shore Scenic Railroad. There, with the sled caught in the rails and the fast train, the number 14, bearing down on him, a young boy comes to his rescue, and in the nick of time, well, I don't want to spoil it for you, but I think you can figure out what happens. That was one of the most dramatic scenes in the entire movie. There are great stories that go with this all along the route and filming of Iron Will. In this scene, inside the car Northland, we see David Ogden Stiers in his private car as J.W. Hopper, talking to Angus McTeague, played by Brian Cox in the movie. The two are considering who would win the race and are wagering as to who will win the race. Hopper, of course, he goes for Will Stoneman. That might have been a good investment. Here we are in the same car in the same place, and there's a lot of great stories that go with the filming of Iron Will. One of the big ones is how cold it was and how snowy it was, just like the real race of 1917. It was so cold one night out of Brookston that the number 14 steam locomotive, which leaked a lot at the time, actually was frozen to the rails by the morning. And they had to bring in a BNSF engine to yank it off to get it moving again so they could continue filming. Unfortunately, it was so cold that night that 
all the paint flaked off inside the car as well, and the car had to be completely redone once the movie was over. Thank goodness it was a Disney film. And then, of course, there's the great story. Because they filmed way into the end of April, there was no snow. And so they actually hired people to go out to snow dump piles and bring in the snow, but it was so crusty and dirty and craggy and frozen that it just didn't look like snow at all. So they used tons of potato flakes to cover the snow to make it look white and fresh. The problem with that was that the dogs ate all the potato flakes. <laughs> Iron Will, the movie, was actually based on a real event. In 1917, Louis W. Hill sponsored a race from Winnipeg to St. Paul along the tracks of his Great Northern Railway, 522 miles. A guy by the name of Albert Campbell won that race. He was from Canada. He came in first place. He was 23 years old when he won the race. His younger brother, Gabriel, finished third in the race. And it was kind of interesting and somewhat ironic that just like in the movie, their father had passed away two weeks before the start of the big race. This was a historic event, but filming the movie Iron Will was a historic event for Duluth. It was incredible. It was the most successful and biggest motion picture ever filmed in the Northland. So much so that 20 years after it was released, in 1994 and 2014, Mackenzie Aston came back to Duluth, rode on the car Northland, we showed the movie in the underground theater. People came from all over extras that had been in the different scenes of the movie, everyone telling their great and wonderful stories about how much fun they had filming Iron Will here in Duluth. And what happened to the extras extras, like those cars? Well, you saw the number 14. It ran until 1998. Now it needs a boiler rebuild, though it did just get a cosmetic restoration. The car Northland, we see that all the time. The W24, still in our collection. The 33 is one of the coaches used in the movie. We run that every day on the North Shore Scenic Railroad. You can ride in an actual movie star car. And some of those box cars that you see in the motion picture, yes, they still are on property. In fact, you can even see the movie Iron Will. It's a Disney production. You can search it out and find it. It's on YouTube. Enjoy it. And look at all the different places here in Duluth that pretended they were someplace else. Ah, the wonder of the silver screen. All of us sometimes imagine we were someplace else, like maybe not quarantined at home, maybe outside enjoying the spring weather that's around us. But this will all end soon. And in the meantime, it's very important to do what you know you have to do. Wash your hands, cover your coughs, don't touch your face, keep that social distance going. And we're doing it, and I'm proud of you. We're taking care of each other.